Well, hi there viewers, Princess Strawberry here in my third video. Hopefully it's my last video for this coloring page because so far I've done two videos. So, in this video, I am going to be coloring this dragon that has three heads. So, like I said in my last couple of videos, I have this six pack of markers that came with this coloring book that I ordered from Walmart. It just came in today. And when I got it, I pretty much fell in love with it. Sorry, the pages sort of stick because there's glue right here. So, I tried to, on the first page, I tried to color the dragon just like it's showing on the cover. So, here's my first picture. And then in my few last few videos, I've been coloring these three dragons. Well, I guess it's one dragon with three heads. But we're going to start off. I've been switching between crayons and markers because there's only they only give you six colors. And... This crayon box gives me a total of 64 crayons, plus a sharpener if they get dull. So it's really cool. So I'm just going to continue coloring this dragon. Uh, I think I'm going to color part of his body purple, and we're just going to like go through the rainbow colors here. So today's topic is going to be about mythical creatures and in my last few videos I've had different topics. So comment below what your favorite mythical creature is. As I said before, my favorite mythical creatures are either a mermaid or a unicorn. People say on the internet that they spotted a unicorn in some forest or something across the world but they don't actually have picture proof or they say that they didn't have a camera at the time. So, I'm beginning to wonder, have you actually s So, I'm beginning to wonder if they've actually seen a unicorn like they say they have. Because I've never seen a real unicorn in real life. I've never seen a mermaid in real life. I've seen people dress up like mermaids for Halloween or swim in a pool with a mermaid tail on. But, I've never actually seen a real mermaid. So I can't say if they exist or not. I'm just saying that I've never actually seen one. So I don't know if they're real or not. Scientists say that there are, but you never know. So now I'm going to color part of the body green. This is going to be like a rainbow. Okay, we're just going to take all the markers out. I'm going to set them up here. Use green next for this guy's neck. This is just going to be like a rainbow picture, pretty much. A rainbow dragon. Have you guys ever seen that movie as a kid called Dragon Tail? I still remember the little rhyme, or at least I think I do. I wish, I wish with all my heart. Go to a land, dragons apart, or something like that, anyway. Something about dragons, anyway. I remember part of it. I wish, I wish, with all my heart. And then I pretty much forget the rest of it. I remember watching Dragon Tales. I actually, I think I still have a DVD of them. For if I ever have kids. Because I have a bunch of kids movies from when I was a kid. I'm planning on keeping them. For if I ever have kids, then at least they have movies. Just like my one friend, she still has a bunch of her Barbie dolls from when she was a kid. And she says, I'm going to keep them. If I ever have a girl, then she'll have something to play with. And I don't have to spend more money on getting her toys. And I thought that was a really good idea. So this dragon's pretty much going to be rainbow. Also... A lot of people are commenting lots of suggestions on what I, video ideas I should do. Someone suggested I do a Christmas haul. Like, I go to a store and buy a bunch of stuff and just randomly give them to some of my good friends. There's a suggestion, but I would have to wait and see because I'm actually literally doing Christmas shopping as we speak in front of the camera where that rainbow bag is with a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments. Um... That has my grandma's Christmas gifts in it. I will definitely be doing a video of about that probably tomorrow because this hopefully is going to be my last video for tonight because I am getting pretty tired. I do want to go to bed. I got green marker on my hand. It's okay. It's Crayola marker. It's washable. 
So now we're just going to color up here in these trees, but I'm going to use crayon this time. Oh, uh, what green? I think I'll use this green. Okay. I am definitely going to be doing a lot of videos tomorrow. Makeup tutorials. Hoping to do makeup anyway. Makeup tutorials because I bought got some new makeup today. I even got new shoes, which I will show you quickly. My new shoes are literally right here. So here's my size 8. They're from Walmart. They're awesome. I actually had to take the shoelace out of the first punch hole and tie it so that they I can just slip my feet in. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I really should not be just slipping my feet in the shoes, but I do. It just makes it easier for when I'm in a big rush and have a bunch of stuff to do, especially payday. Holy. At 9.30, as soon as that bank opens, everyone's rushing to get in. And it's just like, wow, it's crowded. So this is why I usually try to get to the bank ahead of time, like 10 minutes early. So I can be the first one in line and don't have to wait. Oh, I just messed up. That's all right. Because whenever I mess up, this is what I do. I color the whole page, and I mean the whole page. It just makes more sense for me. I'm going to color off of the page. Because that's what I'm pretty much doing right there. That's all right. So no, I pretty much just color the whole page blue or this part anyway blue. The rest I'm probably going to color green. I still forgot to color his mouth in. Or her mouth. I don't know the genders of the dragon. I'm just going to say the red one's a girl, the blue one's a boy, and the yellow one's a girl I guess. I really don't know. I used to do that as a girl. I used to always say that certain colors were genders because I was bored when I was little. So gray is male, purple is female, yellow is female, blue is boy, brown is boy, green is boy, and a red would be a female. I always used to have genders for my colors. Don't ask. I was a pretty weird child. But then again, what is normal? And if you were normal, you would not be intelligent and funny the way most people are right now. So... Here we go. That doesn't really look right, so I'll just do this. Add some more color. So apparently this marker set has this little card thing. I don't even know if you can read it. I'm trying to get the camera to focus. There we go. So it's showing that the red marker does a special effect. So it's this marker, but I haven't seen the effect unless you have to show it on yellow. So we're going to quickly draw a little bit of red on the yellow to see what it does. I just got to move because my legs are hurting. We're just going to kind of outline this dragon. We'll do them partially. There we go. So, it doesn't... I'm not sure what this is really supposed to do. The camera will focus again. There you go. So, it's showing that if you use the red marker on, I think, the yellow that it does this weird effect but I'm not really seeing that so I don't know maybe I didn't do it right but anyways so there we go I signed my own picture I didn't do that with the first one I just did that now randomly because I am random so anyways there we go I finally did my picture with three videos like I planned so anyways thanks for watching if I can get all my markers back in so here's the picture all complete and then hang on a second it tore my picture a little bit but that's alright 
here's my second picture and then here's the cover and of course the marker set that came with it so anyways thanks for watching my third video oh and my crayons I gotta close that though so I don't lose any crayons so anyways thanks for watching my coloring video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I guess I could just throw this piece out because I don't really need it but anyways thanks for watching bye